So I finished the return manifold on Friday, Saturday. So everything's good. All behind here comes underneath, ties into the heat exchanger in the back, comes out of the heat exchanger, wraps around, stops here. So what I did on yesterday morning, Saturday, is um, I still had all of this stuff in the front here disconnected and I attached a hose to this fill valve here. Um, I have those closed. I did bleed them a little bit, got a bunch of the air out, but I basically filled the system through the heat exchanger, filled it, filled it, filled it, came all the way down, around, and then out right here. And I, I didn't drain it there. I actually had a pressure gauge on there and I just opened this valve into a bucket. Um, so right away I had a drip from this joint uh, and it was the solder joint. It was, you know, one of my early solder joints. Um, but everything else was tight, including the unions uh, that I was so worried about. They're not leaking at all. So that's great. So I ended up taking this whole thing off the wall. I, I fixed that joint. I would have done it. I would have tried to do it on the wall here, but I got this electrical conduit with everything going to my garage. And I do have an asbestos cloth there, um, but it's not the greatest. You know, it, 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 it doesn't ignite, but it does burn and it stinks. And it's just, you know, so I pulled this whole thing off, fixed the leak, put it back on, retested it. Uh, I have about 45, 50 pounds coming in from the street. So I quickly learned that this is 30. Um, oops. So, you know, I went to shut it. I went to shut off this with the supply and I'm stealing the cold water from my isolation valves for my existing tank was just because it's a, it's a quick way to connect. But, uh, yes, I, I shut that off, not thinking that that was still on. And sure enough, I blew the pressure relief valve because it hit 30 pounds and blew. Uh, it, it scared the you-know-what out of me for a minute, but I, I thought the tank exploded or something. <laughs> it was just the pressure relief valve. So then I was watching the gauge. I kept it right at about 28 pounds oh, from like yesterday at 4 o'clock all the way until this morning at 9, and it didn't move, uh, not one PSI, and there were no leaks. So I think I'm good there. Um, so this morning, I said, you know what? I already had all of this built. Um, I also already had all of this built, but I needed to solder these two joints. Um, so I said, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna tape and dope this union and put this whole thing on, but I can shut it off here and I'm going to tape and thread and, and dope all of this joint and I'll go ahead and solder these so that that's good. And um, I did that and that's shut off here and I did this on purpose so that in the future I can basically connect here, connect here and I can flush the domestic side of this heat exchanger with vinegar or whatever I wanna do just like I'm gonna do to the, to the units themselves. So. But, so anyway, what I just did about five minutes ago was uh, I reconfigured my water here. I brought the fresh cold water in here. And as you can see right now, it's on. And so I've got about 45, 50 pounds coming in. Stops here, filled up the heat exchanger, comes over, stops here, comes out this hose, goes in over there now. Can't go this way. Fills, 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 comes over, fills the heat exchanger, and then was flowing out there. Um, so right now that's on. This is off because I don't have a pressure gauge on the system. So I'm, if I turn this on right now, it's very quickly gonna blow the pressure relief valve. Um, what I might do is remove this hose. This is just draining into my sump pump for now. I was flushing, I was flushing it. What I really would like to do is just get some, uh, get some 
Nope. Yeah, there's water in there. Um, so somehow bleed it from here and then put a pressure gauge on that. And then I would know that, that this is tight. Um, no leaks from any of the copper on the domestic side. Again, the leak yesterday on the glycol side I fixed, so we're good there. So at least I know, you know, none of these joints are leaking. None of these joints are leaking. Um, I could, I, I, what I actually might do here shortly, if I put the expansion tank on, the domestic expansion tank on, I could fill and test this up to these two shutoffs here. Um, I would need a way to bleed them, so I might hook up a hose here, but theoretically I could test all of this as well, the copper joints, um, everything with water. Um, I can't do through the units yet because as they come out uh, gauge, they come here. I could put this cap back on. I do have a shutoff here before it goes to the tank, but this is where my research comes in. So there's a Taco 13 that's going to sit down here that recirks the tank. Um, so whenever the tank is calling because the thermostat on the tank uh, uh, is below 120 or 125, it'll turn on this Taco, send the water from the tank up, can't go that way, it'll go through the heat exchanger, through the units, back down, fill the tank. Um, but I don't have this exactly figured out yet as far as where um, I want this thing. It's going to be somewhere in here like this, but I need to I need to uh, get that all in. So if I can get that position and solder that joint, I do have another shutoff here. Then I could basically pressure test the whole thing um, with the exclusion of the tank stuff. Um, I could I could pressure test the whole domestic side. I could fill the heaters. Um, right through them and everything all of this here would have water in it and be watertight and then all I've got to do is finish up my one inch stuff that runs to and from the tank and the research lines and all that but uh, I'm looking pretty good so yeah super happy this was a good weekend I'm, I was really worried about these unions as you know and they are dry as a bone um, so that's a huge plus Anyway, I'm having fun. This is this is good times. I'm, I'm looking to get this uh, wrapped up here soon so that I can at least get these guys doing my domestic and then I can start playing here with uh, with pumps and get this out of here, do my radiant and uh, it's going to be fun. So anyway, hope you're doing well and uh, we'll talk to you soon.